Okay, so here I'm just going to do three examples quickly of finding Taylor series for functions of two variables, x and y. Okay. Um, and like I said, in the previous video we saw the definition, but when you actually do the calculations, you don't often have to use the definition. You can, again, just use the Taylor series you already know. So I'll go through these one by one. So number one is quite a simple one, e to the x plus y. So we know the Taylor series of e to the x. This is 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial and so on, right? So all you have to do to compute this Taylor series is just change x into x plus y, right? So this is therefore equal to 1 plus x plus y plus x plus y squared over 2 factorial plus x plus y cubed over 3 factorial, and so on. So it's that easy, right? You just change x into x plus y. And you can check that this agrees with the definition that we derived in the previous video. But obviously, this is much easier to calculate this way. So the next one is slightly more tricky, e to the x over 1 plus y. So here, you use the fact that we know the Taylor series to e to the x, and you also know the Taylor series for 1 over 1 plus y. This is 1 minus y plus y squared minus y cubed plus dot dot. Okay, so therefore, e to the x over 1 plus y is 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus times 1 minus y plus y squared minus y cubed, and so on. Okay, and then if you multiply these together, you get the answer. So really, you should do it, um, first of all, the constant term, which is 1, and then the linear terms, which are x minus y. Next, the squared terms, so the terms with x times y, x squared, y squared. So that gives you x squared over 2. And then you have minus xy plus y squared. Okay, and then I'll just do one more and then we'll stop. So then the next term is the cubic terms. So you have x cubed over 6 um, minus x squared y over 2 plus xy squared minus y cubed. And so on. Okay. So this defines the Taylor series in um, two dimensions, right? This is constant term, first order, second order, third order, and so on. That's easy. There's nothing too too difficult. The final example is slightly more tricky, but same method works again. So the third example was cos x plus y e to the minus y squared. Okay, so Taylor series of cos x was 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial minus so on. Right? So, therefore, again, you just change x into x plus y. So, this is 1 minus x plus y squared over 2 factorial plus x plus y the 4 over 4 factorial and so on. And you have to multiply it by e to the minus y squared, which is 1 minus y squared plus y to the 4 over 2 and so on. Okay, so we'll just stop there. So you see here you only get the even terms, right? x to the 0, x squared, x to the 4 and so on. Okay, so again the constant term is 1 the next order terms are the squared terms. So from here you get x squared over 2. And you also get x minus, this is minus, right? Minus x squared over 2. You also get minus x times y. And then from here you get minus y squared. Yeah, that's the second order terms. And then the fourth order terms from here you get x to the 4 over 24 and you also get from here 
um, x cubed times y times 4 over 4 factorial, so that's x cubed y over 6. And then the next term is x squared y squared, so from here you get 6 lots of that. So that's 6 over 24 is a quarter, so that's x squared y squared over 4. But you also get an x squared y squared from here, right? So you get y squared times x squared over 2. So that will give you x squared y squared over 2 from this times this. Then the next term is x times y cubed. So you can get one from here y cubed over 6, that's just from this term times 1. You also get one from here, which is um, plus xy cubed from this times this, and you also get one, do you? no that's it right, you get one from, one from there, that's it, okay, and then finally y to the 4, from here you get y to the 4 over 24, this times this. From here you get y to the 4 over 2. And then from here you get another y to the 4 over 2. Okay. So if I simplify that a bit, this is 1 minus x squared over 2 plus xy plus y squared, plus x to the 4 over 24, plus x cubed y over 6. And then here you've got a quarter plus a half, that's 3 quarters. And here you've got a sixth plus 1, so that's 7 sixths. And here you've got 1 plus 1 over 24, so that's 25 over 24. Okay, and so on. Okay, so that's about as difficult as you will get asked in this course. And you see then that the Taylor series in two dimensions or three dimensions and so on, you can get them straight from the Taylor series just in one dimension um, in this way. Okay, just a quick note, there is a mistake here I just realized. Um, actually, I thought I'd make a mistake here, but I didn't. I made a mistake in the second order term here. Um, and it's the y squared term. So I got minus y squared, which is from here, this times that. But you also get minus y squared over 2 from there. So here we need to add on a minus y squared over 2 as well. So here this gives you 1 plus a half, which is 3 over 2. So this should be 3y squared over 2. Okay, then the rest is correct.